Well, howdy folks. I hope you're having a swell time out there. Yes, it's me, Roger's American cousin, come to talk to you about things related to vacuum cleaners. I've just lost most of my audience. Sorry to my American friends and viewers. You know I don't know how to speak American. I'll have to continue with this faux Polish accent because I'm really a, a Yorkshire boy by heart, but not by soul. Right, I've donned what I consider sort of an American-ish look. <laughs> I look like an extra from Brokeback Mountain here. What those boys did in those tents, it's disgusting. But anyway, but I was, I was you know, I thought, I try to look American, I've got my Wranglers on. <clears throat> And a sort of a, an American-y sort of cowboy shirt. Don't have a 10-gallon hat like J.R. Ewing. But uh, because this is a retro item from, I think, the 1980s, I also have put on some sort of retro-looking socks. So it's a bit of a mishmash. Shall we get these open? Well, folks, let's start with the little one first. Both of these packages have come all the way from the US of A. I can't remember what states they're from. But they are connected, so when you see this, you'll have a clue to what's in the big box. Well, you'll probably have a clue. It depends if I've uh, actually titled the, entitled the video. Uh, entitled? Titled it? I'm a bit giddy and excited. These should be okay, because in here should be sealed and brand new. The big box behind me, though, that's another matter. Anyway. It's been packaged very well all the way from US of A. So this is not, um, you'll have seen my very first proper, oh it looks very good condition. My very first proper, oh, I'll be able to insulate a house soon with all these. Uh, my first proper 120 volt vacuum was that commercial porter power, wasn't it? So um, this is, Behind me is my second 120 volt vacuum. This was packed in a uh, reduced fat ice cream cakes, ready to decorate 10 inch. Ooh. But we're not interested in ice cream cakes. Oh. Well, I hope this sticker that the sellers put on, 100% um, positive, my goal is to earn your five star rating, thank you. I hope that sticker comes off without it damaging the lovely vintage box. Otherwise, they'll get no rating. Well, it, I'll do that later. Some cleaning tools. These are cleaning tools, model U3903, folks. So, what model does that fit? Do you know? Well, there are two sets, apparently, of cleaning tools. This is the standard set, and they also did a deluxe set. These are to fit the Hoover Concept 1, and I expect they will fit Hoover Concept 2 as well, but when these were made, I, I suppose the Concept 2 uh, wasn't actually available. Right. So you might have a clue as to what's behind me. If these are tools for Concept 1, and they actually go with the vacuum I've got, these are definitely factory sealed, and it's in. It's like it was made yesterday, these. So I'm going to have, have to ask for help from my American viewers. When would these have been current, you know, in the shops? Before the internet, wasn't it? These were. Is there a date on this box? Oh, it says Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company. Ship to. This is where it's, this says the Hoover Company, North Canton, Ohio. And then it says ship to Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company, 45 Goodyear Boulevard, Akron. Is that? C-H... Uh, Akron? Where's Akron? These are made in the USA as well as coming from the USA. None of your Chinese stuff. I don't really want to... Oh, there we are. I thought the glue would have... Um... Oh, that's it. No, it's not. Not quite, Rog. I thought the glue would have loosened up a bit. After the... Oh, there we are. Oh! oh. So these, this hose, it looks a little bit discoloured, but it could be just the lighting in here. It looks pretty white on the, look at that. I had a hose, like I did have the toolkit for my concept one that I had when I bought from the UK. It was a UK version, but the toolkit I had, I don't, 
I don't know if it was the deluxe one, but it certainly had a hose like this. And it had the pan converter with a little wheel. Mm, they may, might, that might need renewing. That can, I've got some um, draft excluder strip, self adhesive that would do the job of that because that mm, may perish. So that fits onto the um, base of the cleaner and then you lock it into position there. And of course, the hose twists on here. I always found it difficult with my one. Once you get it on, it's hard to get it off. Right, well, I'm not gonna bother because it's, oh. Oof. anyway, there you get the principle. So, here we are, look at this lovely new vintage-ish. It's vintage, well, I think 80s. I think this is from the 80s. I think we can say the 80s is vintage now. It's a lot longer, longer, longer. It's longer ago than we thought. No, that's not the right words. Another one of these, got quite a few of this type of crevice stool now without the pip. I think I've got a delivery coming. I knew this would happen. It's another vacuum. And here's the metal doobry. And the instructions, I'll have to pause to receive another vacuum cleaner. Oh dear, sorry about that folks. It always happens, doesn't it? Right, yes, it was another vacuum, okay. So um, this is an earlier, I think it's an earlier tool set because it's got this metal doobry. Um, I think the, one I, the ones I had didn't even have this. They had this handle, but then it had extension ones. So this doesn't, this just has this metal handle piece. And then you can pop the things into there. So there we are. That's a bit discolored. So yes, yeah, so well there's the deluxe set. I think I did have the deluxe set when I had my concept one originally. Yeah, this this instruction book looks very like uh, mine. Apart from it wouldn't have had that engaging high speed when using attachments. Because in the UK, we've got two models that I know of officially, a concept one base model and the concept one power drive. And as far, or oh, did they have two speeds? Or oh, they might have done. Yes, they actually might have done, come to think of it. Right, so there we go. A nice, mint, brand new, just opened set of tools for a Hoover Concept One vacuum. Let's put those to one side and say a little prayer because it's not that well packed this vacuum so I know they're pretty sturdy let's hope it survived its trip from America to England okay let's see if it'll just pull out now this would have been opened customs would have had to look at this make sure there's no drugs packed in the dust bag sniffer dogs have probably been around it as well cocking their legs right I'm gonna to have to use a bit of cutting oh and a bit of an American newspaper oh. It's also exotic to us in the, in the United Kingdom to receive something from another country. We're an insular isle. Crikey, that's an odd, that is an odd shape. Now in the, in the, I know you want me to show you this, but I'm relishing in this. So, you know, don't make yourself a cup of tea or coffee. Um, now in the UK, this size of paper would be called a broadsheet, but that's narrow, you see our board, and this, if, oh, have, no, they haven't. I'm thinking, have they just folded it? No, that's how you're, crikey. Now this paper is the Star Tribune. Please comment below, American viewers. Is the Star Tribune a quality paper or is it trash? Let's see, do they support Trump or Hillary? Uh, does it say? American polystyrene. Oh, it's so exciting. Oh. What's the date of this paper anyway? Oh, this is from December the 6th. I did probably buy this around that sort of time, so it's taken a few weeks. Oh, they still have double glazing in America. Oh, a bit of... Oh, Trump. Trump's blunders span the globe. So perhaps they don't like Mr. Trump then, if they're talking about his global blunders. I'm not saying anything. I not, don't live in America. I don't have... Well, I do have views on politics. 
they're all a bunch of beep. Now, no matter who they are, they're all puppets. They're all puppets for somebody else. Oh, sports. Boring. Oh, yeah. Well, more sports, more sport. You like your sports? This is a Star Tribune sports section. We don't want that. I'm not bothered. Oh, look. Ooh. This is more up my alley. What's this? Macy's. Oh, I've heard of Macy's, just like you'll have heard of Harrods. I've heard of Macy's and Sears, of course, and Kmart and Walmart and all the other marts. Very boring though, it's just clothes, no vacuums. More clothes, more. Oh dear. No, I won't. Oh, there is a vacuum. There is a vacuum, folks. Oh, it's a Dyson. Well, that's cheap, isn't it? Everyone's saying how expensive Dysons are. $250 for that cylinder there. Canister. And you've got some waffle makers. You know, things aren't much different, to be honest. Our countries, what, what we buy and what you can buy, there's not a huge difference, you know. <sighs> right, I'm not going to spend hours looking through this, but I'm going to see if there's any more vacuum stuff in all this later. Oh. Oh. I hope this, this is a pretty sturdy vacuum. I'm sure people who've, who know this model, so I'm hoping it's okay. If it's a bit of newspaper, it's not going to really protect it. It's a nice colour. Oh. Here it is, folks. It's a lot lighter as well than I remembered. You see, look, these are rare in this country. Because my American viewers were, would be thinking, oh, well, they're, we, they're really common over here. They've sold thousands, tens of thousands, millions of those. Yes, I know. But, but it's like, there's models perhaps you like, my American viewers, you might like certain models that are rare over there that we had tons of, like the, the Hoover Junior. I know you had a similar one that was uh, dubbed the apartment vac, didn't you? And I know that's pretty rare over there, but over here you can just, you're falling over them even now because they were that popular. Right. There is a mess here. Now, um, I have got some new belts for this. I have managed to source some agitator belts from the UK. I've not managed to source from the UK some power drive belts because I know this takes two sets of belts. A, short, a smaller one for the power drive. Um, if I can't, now where have I done it? Here it is. If I can't get power drive belt from the UK, I'll just have to, you know, spend the extra and get them from the US of A. Do you know, I'd, I'd love a Concept 2 as well. The first time I saw a Concept 2, well, actually it was Hoover UK sent me a ton of brochures about that thick. I sold quite a lot of them on eBay a few years ago. They were American because Hoover UK and Hoover USA used to be owned by the same company. And I think it was Maytag back then or Chicago Pacific or something. Anyway, they were, they were owned by the same people. So they were basically the same parents. So Hoover UK kindly contacted Hoover USA and they sent me a ton of brochures, American ones, from the dating from the late 80s, early 90s. And inside this, this I've probably got. Yes, I've probably got a brochure with this in. Um, but I remember seeing a Concept Two with the what you called the Helpmate handheld cleaner. We had that in the UK, but I think we called it the Dust Vac. But it was the same as your Helpmate. I thought that idea was fantastic. Having a little handheld vacuum that you could pull off the front and then take the cable from the vacuum and plug it into the handheld. Excellent. You see, Hoover, oh, are they smokers? Mm, possibly. Hoover were innovative back then, weren't they? In, in UK and America. But we all know that, unfortunately, so far so good. Unfortunately, Hoover now is, well, 
They're completely different companies. Hoover UK, Hoover USA, they're different. Hoover UK is owned by um, Candy, Italian firm. And you know Hoover USA is owned by Tectonic, Tectronic Industries, TTI, who are a Hong Kong-based firm. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. That wasn't really... You see, mm, it's not too bad. But the pictures were quite blurry. So it's this bit. Right, I'm going to... Anyone got a new one of these? I doubt it. For this model, I'll tell you what the model is. It's just where it says Hoover Heavy Duty. I mean, with a very steady hand, I could possibly paint over that. I don't think... I think what I'll do with that... I'll probably rub that off because it looked better not being there at all. Because we can tell it's a Hoover, it's got Hoover here and it says Concept One. It needs two new headlight bulbs. Now I have bought two, ordered two, but they're, they're to fit, well, they fit a Kirby. They also fit our Hoover Turbomaster. But after buying them, I'm thinking, will they work in this vacuum being a different voltage? Because obviously this vacuum is 120 volts. I do have the uh, transformer, as you saw, the step down converter, so should be able to run it. But all in all, so far, it doesn't seem, it's got, you know, it's got a few deep scratches that won't, ooh, what's that? Oh my gosh, cripes, I was going to eat that. That's one of those air fresheners that's fallen out the top. Now that's, I'm sure that's the same as the Oric air freshener. I've got a pack of Oric air fresheners, I think they would fit that, but that's still got a smell to it. Now the air freshener probably fell out of here, look. We didn't get the air freshener feature on our Concept Ones. But we did have air fresheners, starting with the turbo powers in the 80s. But that, and then of course we've got minimum, maximum. I don't think that makes any difference. Now I think this takes size A bags. That zips fine. And it's got, yes, it's got a bag in it. And look, isn't that considerate, folks? I don't know if it's a genuine Hoover one. No, it's not. I wouldn't have thought so. It's not got Hoover written on. I can buy A-type bags. Um, certain, this would fit our British Senior, the, the one without the uh, rubber band thing. The later Seniors, Ranger Seniors. Um, at least they've sent a new bag and not sent me some American dirt. So that's that's nice. So yeah, there's the fill tube. Say so the bag, the zip's okay. Um, I'm not sure about washing the bag. Please, any advice you can give me? Because I'm putting this video out pretty soon after getting this, so it'll be fresh. Um, I might hand wash that, but you know I've got to be really careful because I can't just buy new parts for this easily. I know parts are probably a bit harder to get in America than they were. I know the brushes are. So let's hope the brushes are okay on this. I did have some Concept One brushes. I got rid of them ages ago. What a fool. So that looks okay. And, oh, is that, I don't know if that's slightly bent there, that uh, axle, but we've got, um, I always thought this was quite a good idea. You've got two handle release levers, so it doesn't matter which way you held, if you held the machine with your right or left hand, you could use your right or left foot to release the handle. So that seems okay. Now, let's turn this, oh dear, is that all right? Oh, hang on, self-propelled, just fiddling about with me. Uh... Now I have seen some instructions online for these. So all in all, it's not too bad. Like I say, that will probably rub off, but it will leave on the lines that are on here. But that, that'll probably come off with, um, with a, just a little bit of a rub. Headlight is here. It takes two bulbs, this. Just have to snap that, that off. The listing said it would need new headlights. It does say dual headlight. And we've got the uh, height setting here, including the very popular shag setting. Shag, plush, 
and low slash medium which I think was the sort of floating position it was marked as floating in uh, the UK that's the setting I'll be using it on here we have the cord rewind which uh, I always thought was a very unusual feature on a soft bag upright let alone a completely hard boxed upright but to have one on a soft bag pretty unheard of certainly in the UK we'll see if this works oh the cable it's a ribbed a ribbed variety slightly ribbed the cable there's the old American plug getting familiar with those now so out it comes oh 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 well that wasn't mentioned folks yeah no mention of a repair so that's awkward isn't it oh no look at that I bet they've run that look at that now you know I'm sure Mr Sam Watson will probably give me some advice um, if he's I don't know if he's had to be if he had to rewire his Mm. So this is something that people do and did, which they shouldn't. I mean, it's not actually that bad under there. Um, obviously, I can't leave it like this. If I was to shorten this, if it is, if it's easy enough to get into here, I'd have to shorten it by well over a meter. Um, might be a yard and a half few feet anyway I'd have to um, but then again it's also damaged higher up I think it's going to need a new cable certainly wouldn't get anything original oh a new cable then I'm gonna have to get oh this is gonna this is probably going to end up costing me a lot more because I really need a new concept cable if I can or at least an American cable with a molded on my American plug aren't I I think oh dear Oh well, it was all going so well folks. Here's the handle of the vacuum which is different to the versions we got. Obviously we had the non-self-propelled version that had a handle like the ones yours had. But our self-propelled version handle wasn't like this. This is the later style of handle. Um, it had a little button on it, a little white or red button I think it was. You had to keep pressed in so you could wheel the machine when it wasn't on. But this has got, uh, well, we've got power surge. Ah, so that's all, that's so uh, that's the on and off. Then you've got power surge, which is like a boost, which I'm not sure if that's working very well, but you have to keep your hand on that, your finger on that, don't you? Then you've got self propel on and off. I think that might be a bit dodgy. That does move up and down, but it's supposed to, to activate the power drive. Right, let's have a look underneath the machine. There you go, that's about as close as I can get without it going out of focus. So, let's read it out. So it's a Hoover Cleaner, Hoover Company, North Canton, Ohio. 120 volts, model U3317, 60 hertz, 7.2 amps. I think that's about what my porter power, my American porter power was about 7 amps. Bag type A, belt agitator, that's the um, spares number, and then the drive belt Serial, so can we date this folks? 0591143311 Made in USA for household use only Here's the underside now there are two I don't know if you actually had screws in here because I know in the UK They had to have screws They changed uh, some regulations where you couldn't access the belt and everything without having to unscrew something I know this has a, a release latch so it is possible that uh, that's all you had instead of, yes, there we go. So that's off. Here's the uh, very soft Quadraflex agitator, I think it was called. Um, yeah, the brushes I had on mine were green, I think. It's in reasonable, yeah, it's dirty, but it's in reasonable. I think that's reasonable condition. I don't know what you think. Oh, you can see. The wheels are turning as I'm turning the agitator, and I say I've got I've got this pattern um, agitator belt. It's the power drive belt, so I'll probably need to replace that. Will need replacing. We'll see how it works for the initial turn on. There's a little 
duct there that you can access to. It's clean enough. You know, if it wasn't for the damaged cable, I'd be probably quite pleased. <laughs> It's the fact, you know, I can replace a cable on a vacuum, but it's the fact that it's it's connected to an automatic cable reel. Sometimes they're a bit tricky. So, that... Yes, with this you pop might, you can tell me please, Concept One um, experts, you they might not have had screws in here, because it says release latch, so... I don't know if they're missing, or it doesn't matter anyway, does it? Because it's still on securely. Right, I think it's time I got my step-down transformer out and we'll see if this works. Okay, well it's plugged into the transformer and I'm just going to turn the transformer on. I'm not sure if it's going to switch on. Well, it won't until I turn the transformer on. It's plugged into the transformer. Right, I'll press the transformer button. Main switch. Ooh. Well, did you see that, folks? It did move. I'm not sure if it should have moved. Oh dear. Can't really see the, uh, the switches from this angle, so uh, I'll turn it up the right way round. I'm a bit wary of this cable, the way it's been uh, repaired. I wonder if something's ha happened to the, um, it might have tripped, I'm not sure. Oh, heck, something, something happened. It's not working, is it? They said it worked. self propel is on, it's the power button. It could be that cable, you know. Well, <laughs> yeah, something's up with it. It doesn't sound too healthy anyway. Oh dear. Mm-hmm. Something up with this, isn't there? I think it could be connected with the cable. I don't really want to. Oh dear me. Right, let's just see if this has cut out. I'll turn the um, box off. Turn it on again. Well, it's in the green zone, the, uh, oh, it's not going to work. I can't really complain about this, can I? Um, this may have well worked in America. But when it did work for that few seconds, it didn't sound too healthy to me. What I'm going to do is uh, unplug it, switch it off there, and rewind this in a bit. Oh, that's it. This is good. That's that's a very good. Uh, the cable rewind works fine. It's much better than my one, the one I used to have, even when that was brand new. That's better. Smooth. Right. Well, I've I've wound that in. That cable should hook up the top. So the rest of the cable is okay. I don't know if that's going to make a difference. Right. We're on. No, it's dead folks. Oh, I was so looking forward to having a little go with this. You see, this, this handle's a bit dodgy as well, because I can't seem to switch the self-propelled function off unless you have to press it in. No, it doesn't really go to the off. No, never mind. Oh dear. Well, I've got one but oh, I've no idea how I'm going to fix that. I think the first thing I will look at, of course, will be the cable. So any help 
folks, you can give me, hang on, before I just kneel next to it, I'll just unplug the thing. Well, I'll just try one little thing again. Let's see. Ah, oh, that's odd. This plug goes in both ways on this one. Hmm. Uh, it is in the on position anyway. No, it's not working. It's not working, folks. So, that's nice though, that's uh, reasonable. Oh, dear me. So, right. <laughs> it's dead. Any advice you can give me, folks? Um, I think the first thing I will try is looking at, at least initially, shortening the cable, cutting it off where it's damaged and rewiring it, hopefully. But if you can um, point me to any service tips online, if you could put the links below, or if you can tell me initially how to get into the um, cord reel, I'm thinking this panel probably comes off. It might just need just levering off, I don't know. I've had the bag off on the one I had, so I know there's some screws to get the bag off and things. So possibly, once the bag's off, I can have access to the cord reel and the electrics. But there's something I think a bit dodgy with this handle. It doesn't seem to allow me to turn the self-propelled. That won't move to the off position. I don't want to force anything. It's arrived in one piece, that's one blessing, but unfortunately it doesn't work. Well, I won't let this put me off. I'm getting another, well, there's another American canister coming in the next few days, I think. You won't see it for a while though, but um, hopefully that will work. But in the meantime, it's clean, it's not broken. It just doesn't work. So with any luck, I will get it working because I'd love to have this working again. Oh well, there you go. You win some, you lose some. So thanks for watching. As I said, any American viewers who have a lot more knowledge about concept ones than I do, if you can give any help you can, um, I'd be most grateful. And then hopefully sometime soon you might see this. Still a lovely vacuum, I think. It's lovely to look at. I'd love to use it too. But anyway, hopefully we'll get this working. Fingers crossed. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos coming up very soon. Please like, subscribe, click the bell icon and uh, comment. See you all soon. Bye for now.